Bonnie before. She's, uh, interesting. But I must warn you, Tarnished, the temptation of a blue gash is strong beyond belief. <laughs> uh, I, too, have felt the call of her puppet hands upon my cackle. <laughs> Just imagine, Tarnished, what those four arms must Bro! Be. Bro! Max <laughs> needs to calm the fuck down! All right, boys. Are you ready to get overly stimulated? Because we are watching some more Maxor today. We're going to watch part two of his Elden Ring uh, series. And, I mean, that's all we really need to say, right? Let's just dive in. Do not play this video in the dark. It is very scary. Uh, the lands between. between. So beautiful. So tranquil. Until I showed up. Welcome back, everyone, to Elden Ring, one of the games of all time. Featuring deep role-playing mechanics, riveting combat, cool math games, happy wee hosts, and probably a story so convoluted that entire YouTube channels exist just to tell you. Ah, good old I do not know much about the lore, but I do know one thing. Millennia is definitely the Blade of Mikola. When we last left off, we had endured great pain and suffering in our quest to destroy the cast of Percy Jackson. But do not <laughs> worry, the pain has only just begun. Dude, I love it. <laughs> Like, that edit is so fucking subtle. The pain has only just begun. God, it's so hard to actually find stuff. Destroy the cast of Percy Jackson, but... Like, he does a, like, a second clip where he does a, like, um, no texture found bit. And it's gone. Worry, the pain has only just begun. <laughs> and if you somehow haven't seen the first part... Way too I much work. That's fine. I have also seen Jojo. So with the Elden Ring shattered and scattered among America's inbred dipshits, it's time to tear our way through enemies of plenty, attempt to find a girlfriend, almost impossible, and test the true strength of my hardware, because this will be our greatest challenge yet, and also the easiest challenge for the rest of the game. Nah, I'm excited. What was that? <laughs> You trying to have sex with me? Dude definitely has like a AMV background. Last time on blatant copyright infringement fair use edition, we struggled to take grandpa off his life support with violence, delivered Garfield his precious lasagna, and finally convinced Joseph Hussein Biden to end it all with nuclear fire. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Wow, that was a <laughs> fucking crazy. I better fast travel to the third impact Evangelion. We're moving at a real breakneck speed. You know, just when I was thinking this game can't possibly get bigger, it gets significantly bigger. I'm not sure if the developers are okay, especially since they're trapped in the same room as that man. It turns out <laughs> yeah, that is a great way to excavate the earth, and there are no long-term consequences, which means we've got an entirely new area to explore, hiding just beneath our feet. And no, we're not going to visit the Blue Man group again. I still have the nightmares. Wait a second. This is Michigan. I need to leave as soon as possible. Hello, traveler. Ah, it's a woman. I'm possessed of four <laughs> arms, and that is what tickles. <laughs> ah, it's a woman. <laughs> it's a woman. I'm possessed of four arms, and that is what tickles thy fancy. Pringles can. Are thou of no more brain than stone? Can you speak English? Can you throw yourself into a wood chip? Listen, I have never seen a Caucasoid run that fast. They kept yelling, go white boy, go. Okay. I shall need thy help to run my errands. May I ask why? No, I'm going through a tunnel right now. Your signal is breaking up. <laughs> go for a tunnel. I apologize for that. <laughs> I may so good, man. Time, but this was the beginning of an absolute rabbit hole. One that would lead me to dangerous and disturbing territory in the future. This shit makes Blighttown look like a playground. Welcome, everyone, to the Nether Fortress. It's three that, This shit is not hotter than Blighttown. ...style women, which is my preferred enemy. I've always wanted to be a police officer. This is just like my favorite Japanese anime, Kill the Cats. And if that's a little too intense for you, don't worry. There are dozens of skinwalkers waiting around every corner. Just knowing that makes me feel very comfortable. But my favorite enemy in the entire level is in fact myself me i am the boss of the level hey what's up guys max here this is an, actually an awesome fight. Shadow Peter Pan. I'm forced to fight the only bitch that I trust. Gonna lay a fucking <laughs> smack down on Dark Link. This battle is a <laughs> unique concept to say the least. It perfectly copies and uses your entire inventory. And yes, this does mean you can unequip your weapon and laugh at him for the whole fight. He literally cannot damage me in- Oh shit, can you do that? I didn't know you could do that. You could literally just walk in unequipped and then just put your shit back on and it's just a nothing fight. I did not know that. Dude, that's huge. And yes, this does mean you can unequip your weapon and laugh at him for the- Wait a minute, how the, how the fuck does he already have the summon? Dark Link. This battle is a unique concept to say the least. It perfectly copies and uses your entire inventory. 
This guy, how has he already got the mimic tier? What? Bro's hacking, man. And yes, this does mean you can unequip your weapon and laugh at him for the whole fight. He literally cannot damage me in this state. Not that you would need it, because if there's anyone in the world who knows how to keep me down, it is myself. This boss's <laughs> weakness is naked anime women, but overall, it was a great experience taking revenge upon the man who ruined my life. <laughs> Myself. Unfortunately, as a result of that battle, I have destroyed a part of myself. I have killed my artistic integrity. Hey guys, I built an entire torture chamber for animals in <laughs> hardcore Minecraft. And if you want to see how I exterminate the innocent, stick around until I kill my son. I feel like if you jump- Bro, <laughs> my nephew watches this shit now. He's, um, how old is he now? Like six, maybe? Like, on his tablet. And that's all he watches is Minecraft YouTube stuff like that, where they kill animals. It's- He's he's gonna be fucked up, man. He's gonna be a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe a Minecraft YouTuber, I don't know. What's worse? Of dying, we've returned again to Jump Scare Junction. That's right, I lied to you. I give Dora the wrong directions. This area is an identical copy of the last time, complete with the same puzzle, the same enemies, and the exact same boss, but this time he's glowing, just like this video. Now don't get me wrong, <laughs> I love beating Canadians to death, but why? Please do not subject me to more Canuck and boss torture. Now, this was a bit weak, area, to be honest, that boss nice, fight. You know, kind of short, introduces the brand new sapiens sphere type enemy that's okay though i too have seen steel ball run but what i really want to find is this knife which is a surprise tool that will help us later with this i may now cause many kitchen nightmares let's uh, go talk to someone who actually knows what's happening right now not that guy. Not you. Though the alternative isn't much better. Hey, hey, Tarnished. Yeah, hi. I see you've come to me with londonbinknife.png. <laughs> so you know what it is then. <laughs> but if you desire a refund, I must redirect you to Ronnie the Witch in her Karian call center. Only then... Why is it so much more funny about <laughs> us Brits and knives than the whole of America and their guns? There's something about the London bin knife, man. <laughs> you rebate your purchase. Oh, I've met Ronnie before. She's, uh, interesting. But I must warn you, Tarnished, the temptation of a blue gash is strong beyond belief. <laughs> uh, I, too, have felt the call of her puppet hands upon my tackle. <laughs> Just imagine, Tarnished, what those four arms must Bro! Be. Bro! Max needs to calm the fuck down. Holy shit. <laughs> also, I forgot his, um, his helmet actually looks like a penis. It's very thin. There's also kind of like the, the you know the stuff that this dude this guy's helmet is sus as fuck. I'm going to leave now. <laughs> Welcome everyone to Horrors Beyond Comprehension, a land of the hands, as it were, the Finky Dingy. Making my way here was a treacherous affair. I had to dodge the magical artillery using my immense skill. This place, however, is anything but safe. I would describe it a bit like the SpongeBob perfume department. You simply need to get through it, but you will lose a part of yourself. There are sure. hands everywhere, <laughs> in the ground, on the ceiling, and within my nightmares. They are 90% of the enemies, and the remaining 10% kind of remind me of myself in a really strange Way. My name is Yoshikage Kira. I'm 23 years old and making YouTube videos. <laughs> As it turns out, the Queen of Caria going insane in Hogwarts had implications for the kingdom, and one of those implications, uh, kind of, kind of slaps, you know, like a hand. I too would kill myself if I was written by J.K. Rowling. I can't even search for pictures of normal knuckles on Google because I keep getting this fucking echidna. Human <laughs> knuckles just makes it worse. Now, uh, what the fuck was I talking about? Is that true? <laughs> You can't search knuckles. <laughs> Dude, humanity is what the fuck? This couldn't be further from what I wanted to search. What? What the I do I need to get out of here? <laughs> humanity was a mistake. Let's get the fuck out. So after dealing with my oni chan and killing the only normal people for miles, the game just gives up and has us fight a ghost instead. Dude, the RGB lights. I've always wanted to kill a white woman. Also, I'm available at this address. Wait, this fight is actually what? An <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, he says shit and it, because of the editing, it's so hard to keep track. So like, you have to process it. 
<laughs> it just takes you like from the side. Like, what the hell? I've always wanted to kill a white woman. Also, I'm available at this address. This fight is actually an iteration of the previous Jesus Sentinel boss, so it's a really good thing that I beat him. You could say I have a lot of practice with the move set. This time, however, we've got a copious amount of magic, even greater speed, and a horse ghost, which implies that there is a horse hell. Horses don't belong in the battlefield. They belong in the McDonald's menu. I can't even turn the bastard into glue anymore. This is just like George Orwell's Animal Farm. In summary, this boss is good, but nothing we haven't seen before or we'll see in five minutes the magic earns her a really comfortable spot in b tier right next to herself but that is a story for a uh, part 19 so for now i'm just gonna send her to a farm upstate they, they do I've recycle a lot of content. And, uh, haven't slotted a spell. Now, as a full metal consequence of my vehicular manslaughter leader, we have finally unlocked Ronnie's Rise and my favorite part of the game, Ningyo Romansu Shimureta. <laughs> Honestly, I'm a big fan of the writing on this one. I just don't really care for the up. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Ooh, Ronnie sex. Ooh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. How do you skip, like, slightly? How do I do that? There we go. Tom Hanks Morpheus. <laughs> I'm about to morph this more time. <laughs> Bro, what is life? When I just don't really care for the other Demon Slayer, Vlad Gaming, Five Nights at Frederick. <laughs> we have to fight the most dangerous and powerful boss of them all, the copy paste key. If we can teach magic to fucking dragons and dogs, I don't even know why we try. The most powerful wizards can be found. Bro, th this fight with the dragon is so good, like Ronnie's dragon, but it's also like, this was literally like, oh, people like the Grey, uh, gray Wolf Sith. And we're just like, how do we do it better? We we'll just give the dragon a sword. Yeah, that, that'd do to fucking dragons and dogs. I don't even know why we try. The most powerful wizards can be found in a zoo. You know, at least he, uh, he, uh, <laughs> uh, he, he's gone. He has chosen peace. I guess all that's left to do now is enter up Toyota High School so I can finally meet the love of my life. How, ah. how the fuck did you do that? Do what? She says, her long hair swaying in the Among Us Among Us among us sucks. So, uh, why are you here exactly? Oh god, the game actually prompts you. I really gotta think about this one. Tell you what, I'm also in the business of killing god. I want to restore the good old-fashioned values upon which we used to rely. Is that a bad thing? For you. Now, are you going to join or not? Oh god, she doesn't know I'm a sub. Wonderful. Your first mission is to kill my brother, Satan. You can find him inside his volcano. Are you trying to kill me? Don't come back until one of you is dead. Well, I guess that's it then. Time to take the elevator so I can Talk to my sleep paralysis demon. Greetings, Tarnish. Oh god, not him. It is I, Love Ryan Blad. Dawn, from Family Guy. <laughs> please leave me alone. I'm not really here right now, so please... God damn it, it's an answer. <laughs> please record your message. Fuck, I love these videos, man. Finally, it's time to continue playing the game. And to get to the aforementioned volcano, we must first ascend. We have to elevate our consciousness so I can have my date with Ronnie Senpai. Fortunately for us, there is an elevator. Thank God the Mountain of Death is wheelchair accessible. You just gotta watch out for the uh, falling rocks. I'm beginning to get the impression that I'm not wanted here. So we enter the absurdly large elevator, custom built and designed for the new American male, and place our keys <laughs> in the ignition like a sedan. Welcome every pony bazinga to the Altus Plateau, land of the fourth demigod and his magic tree. House. I originally meant to go to the volcano immediately, but this area is the world's biggest set of dangling keys. There are two True. paths we can take to traverse this area. The road of proper upright civilization or the forest of immaculate pain. The forest is a safer path. But this one is funnier. Welcome everyone to the worm people dimension, a region totally unique in how it decides to kill me. You see, the inhabitants have a special status effect called death, and the effect of death is that it kills you rather painfully, and uh, there's quite a few of them. My favorite example is definitely Wormface, who is called that for no reason. All of his attacks are basically instant kills. I think it could be better to take the stealthy approach here. Hey guys, Maxor here, and today we're going to be sneaking into Big Shell. Raiden, you have to stop the Facebook algorithm. It's giving people pronouns. <laughs> so after navigating the Impaled Jail, or just teleporting past it, because you can do that, we continue exploring Bikini Bottom so I may find the maniac. Just don't turn around on the bridge, because, uh... <laughs> Is there so for the next part of our journey we is that it? is that what he's gonna do with that character uh, uh, 
Apparently a fun time. You know, I may be a fan of older women, but this is a bit much. These bitches really do be reenacting the plot of Midsummer in the local retirement center. Honestly, this area is pretty dope as long as you don't make them angry. Don't worry, women are very easy to calm down. So with our domestic situation now under control, we walk for three seconds until the boss just kind of approaches you, just like Dio and his stand. Welcome back, everyone, to the official IGN walkthrough. And today we're going to be fighting Slenderman. Gotta collect those eight pages. His attacks are fast, really fast, and his combos are longer than my video schedule. If you ever think you're safe against this boss, think harder. This man goes harder than a police officer in the Black Sea. And to make things worse, <laughs> we have a second phase which made me scream audibly. Finally, the spaghetti coat. I haven't really fought a boss that required an exorcist before, but thankfully, the priest was better at the game than me, so... Dude, uh, this guy loves Genshin, girls. He's got pro he's, he's proper the into the Genshin waifus. Although I wish it was. So with Friedrich Fastbear once again confined to his pizzeria, we approach the fabled gate of Yeah, I'll be ashamed if that boss fight is uh nice you have another one but with a another guy too. Our next destination. The next destination hurts my eyes. All you have to know is that I really want to get there because I am a moth and also this anime girl. Naturally, my first <laughs> instinct was to head to the front door like the feds outside my house, but these instincts were not correct. Also, some people say my videos are too fast. So, here's a dog. So instead of whatever that is, we need to take the side route to get in. I have to skulk cantankerously towards my devilish teeth. But upon reaching the back rooms, we find that the way is blocked by the dreaded, most powerful enemy of the entire game. That's right, the copy-paste key is back, and this time he's tired of my shit. Are you ready? How many SpongeBob memes has he posted into this video? Not because the moveset is new, but because I have exhausted my horse jokes. To put this another way, he's tougher than my dad and hits harder than his belt. Not much is different this time around, though, except for the damage. That is very new. This is just like my Redmi Note 11 Pro when I criticize the Chinese government. <laughs> Overall, though, this boss is a very cool reskin and a literal gatekeeper for the content ahead, which is why I decided to exploit him using Holy my shit. horse, just like the Mongols. Absolutely peak game design right here. I'm very impressed. One second, guys. I need to answer my phone. <laughs> so, with the evil lies of capitalism out of the way, right. it's finally time to head inside. This is what we've been building up for for 13 entire minutes. And when I got there, I was so taken aback by what I saw that I fell off a cliff and died. A great start. Welcome everyone to Listerine, Royal Capital, a land that pleases the eyes and destroys the ears. Dope. The sound of the Smurf Jamboree is fucking inescapable. We're gonna hear it for the rest of the level. The Anno Londo the turns up to like an 11. Shit. Look how fucking big it is. And yes, we can visit all of that, the entire city. Do you see that dragon? You can climb it. These enemies, they can climb me when I am six feet under. Enter the buildings, peruse the streets, find new enemies and die to them. We've got a little bit of everything here in Portland, Oregon. This game is Dark Souls 4, 5, and fucking 6. So I ask again, are the Developers okay? Do they sleep? So after our encounter with band class, only when Miyazaki allows, it's not often. It's welcoming residents, and there are so many different paths that it's actually hard what to talk about. Like? You can go down the streets and die, go through the storm drain and be dragged to the depths of hell where the Catholics go, <laughs> or you can go to the bad side of town and die to the exploding worm. I hesitate to call this a level because this is a goddamn experience. Just don't enter this innocuous well because you'll have to fight the poo and piss men. Seriously, this is an entire dungeon in and of itself, and it's more convoluted and confusing. <laughs> Of the first piss. To get off Mr. <laughs> wild ride. Please let me see my family. But that is a story for uh, probably never because it's guarded by the demigod of incest. I will have to deal with him later, preferably after he stops dealing with me. So once I finish up preening the garden and becoming Bro, I would love to just just have a look at Maxor's. Actually, you know what? I don't think I want to see Maxor's hard drive. <laughs> I take that back, actually. Holy shit. <laughs> it must be filled with so many like memes, dude. Oh my god. Graveyard. We ascend to the next level of consciousness and begin making our way to the palace above. It's pretty beautiful, but I would suggest installing railings because I am stupid. And also this anime. Speaking <laughs> of which, here's the uh, next boss. He just kind of appears there. Gotta fight Casper the Unfriendly Piss. Now, I could get into this Yeah, boss, he completely got distracted. He did not go to the Vecano uh, manor. Sure. But he is uh, very phoned in, and we're going to get quite familiar with him later. And also he uh, has a stand, so that's how you know he's gay. Wait, Since what did he say? <laughs> you know he's gay. Familiar with him later, and also he uh, has a stand, so that's how you know he's gay. He does say that. that's how you know he's gay because he has a stand. <laughs> Fucking hell. Since this boss is technically a memory, we're just gonna forget that he exists. Maybe should have done that during the fight. So all that's left to do now is get into the giant tree so I can finally kill God. Great, Deku, let's go. Against that guy. After all, he made the British Isles, and some crimes cannot be forgiven. <laughs> wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! 
Why did I catch a stray? It isn't my old friend. The tarnished who gets no bitches and stacks no paper. How are you alive exactly? How are you still single? Oh, once I called the demigod's family, but that was before I became racist. <laughs> Though your tenacity deserves praise, it is for naught. For I have never lost a debate. But what the fuck is wrong with you? Cancel culture strikes again. Wait, in part one, wasn't he, like, uh, homophobic? Now he's racist. I just didn't sign up to play Sekiro today. That quirked up white boy do be busting it down sexual style, and his secret is methamphetamine. This shit is fast. Very, very fast. Faster than a Genshin player's trajectory to prison. So fast that the hammer doesn't even wait for phase two. They call him Home Depot DoorDash because he's delivering the tools straight to you. Also, yes, I can make his weapon change color at will. It's like a speed run for epileptics. But what makes this fight difficult is not just the speed, not just the mobility, and definitely not just the damage, although there is a lot of that, but just how many fucking moves this man has, and all of them have different attack speeds, so have fun with that. This time around, we've got daggers, hammers, spears, a lot of swords, and a little bit of trolling. I remember when Dark Souls bosses were just an obese man, we were so young, but this does beg the question, why was Morgoth just hanging out in front of Stormvale? Was he getting his groceries? Did he use a VPN? The only assumption I can make is that he just really hates you, and yeah, I can fucking feel that. I also Isn't it a different guy? So Isn't it his brother? Top, we've got to remain so quick. Marga and um, Marga and, and Marga. Online sources with correct documentation, right? Because this is the hardest boss so far and the easiest boss for the rest of the game. So whether we're delivering pizza or attempting deicide, Morgoth will bring you the Home Depot experience, whether you're ready or not. And the answer is usually not. But I love his little like music edits. But I don't. <laughs> but it's so insane. Sorry, I'm pausing a lot, guys. Like that, <laughs> that was just a triangle. <laughs> become Lord, become Lord. Dude, it, I feel like he's like rewiring my brain. Like my subconscious is like on fire right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why <laughs> there's so many triangles? That fight was the fucking ball. This is a good fight. It was a hard fought battle, but now it is time for me to claim my rightful throne. Fuck, I'm going to make God pay for this. All we have to do is go through the um. Uh... Oh, this probably Rejected. has an explanation, but something tells me I'm not going to like it. Oh well, time to go. My actual objective is worse than this. Much, much worse than this. So, uh... Yeah, that's great. Look, I need help getting into the glow stick tree. Do you have any shears? <laughs> oh, why didn't you say so? No reason in particular. Nah, don't worry about him. He's, uh, doing stretches. For the next 5,000 years. What? Anyways, you need to, uh, burn the tree. Excuse me? You need to go to Giant Mountain and burn someone to death. I want that shit to look like a road flare. You are scaring me. The pain is immense and without limit. How about I just go <laughs> kill Satan instead? You cannot run from me! <laughs> Welcome everyone to the Mountain of Agony, both in the lore and in gameplay, but mostly gameplay. Home of the fifth demigod, Satan, literally just Satan, Lucifer, the big D, if you will, who has made his home inside of a literal volcano where he intends to commit blasphemy in peace. Just one problem, we gotta climb that shit ourselves, and the main way up is, uh... Thank you. Yeah, I knew it! A little no. bit linear. I call it the Habsburg family tree because this shit is a circle, one with a higher population of apes than Twitter.com. My favorite part was the horrifying darkness of my Appalachian camping trip. Something is after me, but I don't know what it is. Now, don't get me wrong, there's still a lot to discover, but half of it is igneous rock, and what remains is a bit of special. Just gotta take out this enemy over here when suddenly bird jump scare. It feels a bit like every level call. Welcome to America. To this one. We've got people, monkeys, spastic robots, and you better believe that the hands are back. We even get to see the um. The 
the handyman himself. He's getting really out of hand this time. You could say that I have my hands full. This is hands down the stupidest <laughs> joke in the video. So after climbing up a little bit, you know, three ladders in a row, we gaze over a cliff whereupon Patches just breaks my fucking skeleton. Guess I have to climb all the way back up. The top of the mountain is really fun though, especially when my computer. Oh, dude, I hate this fucking it's boss. Like Disneyland for Victorian peasants or just Yugoslav war criminals. I think Satan might be up to something. It's just a guess though. So after three days of assorted undersea mischief making, we finally arrive at the Volcano Manor. But at that size, it's more like a volcano gated community. Little did I know what I was getting into, starting with the, um, bread. You know, like all the flags this is giving me. I feel like I'm inside <laughs> of a gaming PC. Maybe this woman can give us more info. Hello, Tarnish, and welcome to the Red Manor. Feeling creative today, YouTube Red Manor. I am the virtual YouTuber of this mansion. Oh, Daddy, no. And this is Gug. Gug. Gug is in pain. Aren't we all? Anyways, can I interest <laughs> you in joining the forces of Satan? We offer coupons. For what exactly? Mostly funerals, but sometimes Tesco. Well, you know what? I do want to attack God, and the mood lighting here is sick as fuck. Where do I sign? Oh, you don't sign. You kill. What? We crave innocent blood, traveler, and I expect a sufficient donation. After all, <laughs> you are what you eat, and I am a child at heart. I think I chose the wrong voice actor. <laughs> I am Satan. Well, I guess since I serve Satan now, my outfit needs to get a child little at heart. And my weapons need to become a little veggier. Potatoes aren't the only things that these can feel. And as a fresh recruit to the Army of Darkness, I now have access to the office break room. It is surprisingly nice, so long as you avoid the souls of the damned. I do not care who the IRS sends, I am not paying taxes. Also, half my fellow demons have scoliosis. So, uh, <laughs> let's just collect our first target. You know, instead of talking to them. And if I'm going to kill the innocent, I might as well do it with some chill beatings by Dr. Dre to relax and study to. Dude, again, the editing. I need to... Oh, I want to see half the shit he does. Because it obviously takes him, like, a long time. Dude, like, 10 seconds of this video must have taken him hours to edit. Me on, a, me on my way to make sexual advances towards your aunt. <laughs> like, who catches this? <laughs> Might be the bad guys. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't think. Oh shit! Wrong door. Congratulations, traveler. Oh, dude, you this have could be a good fight. My, sin. my sins are unforgivable. You get to meet Satan now. No. Oh, what's the occasion? Dinner. Uh. I leave now. Have fun. Uh. Hi there, Satan. Did you fall from heaven? I don't think he liked that one. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, Maxor here, and today we're gonna be trapped in, um, hell. That's right, bitch, we're in fucking hell. Yeah, so it turns out war crimes and orgies are sins, don't ask. So now that we're in hell, I get to meet all of my favorite heroes. Especially when you do them at the same time. Such as Ronald Reagan, and also all the <laughs> landlords that Mal killed. But to navigate this new landscape of fire and brimstone, we must venture into the many circles of hell. Each one complete with their own trials and punishments, but mostly punishments. Now as for me, I was sent to the circle of greed for what being a YouTuber, and my punishment is continuing to make this video. It is four in the morning. What the f- oh yeah, dude, I thought it was bad, but... Hold on. <laughs> this is three minutes. Dude, this is like edit inception. It's an edit of him editing this part and on the display in the edit is the edit. Dude, what the fuck? This is crazy. So this is for, this is three minutes. Holy shit. Dude. Four in the morning. Now the first thing you see in this level, and I mean the first thing, is an anchor director. He's committed to his craft. That we are in the circle of lust, where all the Genshin players reside. You know, I'm a really big fan of us. Sugma Kokomi. Boy, I sure do love love being surrounded by women. Genshin Impact video very soon. Just gotta turn this corner and uh. 
Why is he just standing there? Well, I'm sure he won't be bothering me uh, anytime later. Oh my god, <laughs> it's him, the Capresse Demon. Now for our next stop in every Denny's ever made, we're heading into Hell's Assisted Living Center, which is filled with unbaptized infants and the disabled. It was at this moment that I knew I was not being punished, but that I was the punishment. Also, Jesus Christ, this is darker than Ethiopia. After which, we find ourselves in the circle of gluttony, because the residents are a bit, uh, a bit sluggish. <laughs> I know very funny stuff. It's time for some fun Good job, Maxor. with Maxor. Did you you know that lava cannot hurt you as long as you are backstepping. Try to do it in real life. Actually, at this point, the lava is more of a suggestion. Summer enjoyers be like, at least there be no snow. Oh boy, I sure <laughs> do love taking a walk in the great state of Arizona. So after we're finished navigating, yeah, we don't have that shit in Britain. We head into the next circle of hell, the heresy, which is accessed when I pull a bridge out of the room temperature lava. This is where God puts all the papists <laughs> after being dragged into the storm drain. Their Sisyphean punishment is that they have to get laid on Gmail. Delete every. Oh my God, do I really have to? Do is he good? It's so quick, man. I can't even read. I just saw boob, so I have to go back. Kinder grinder. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> I got woman big boopers, big suck boober sex. I want to have sex on gmail.com. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Delete every other website. You have to fuck and suck on Gmail. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be attending mass to steal the wine. I wonder if anyone's ever gone laid through a Gmail email. Hey guys, welcome back to my 600 pound death. And on today's episode, we're going to be fighting the skinniest Reddit mod. This is not what I meant when I said I wanted jiggle physics. I think this boss may have had a few too many uh, communion wafers. How many of those do you have to eat before it's considered one entire Jesus? This is your body, broken for me. Now, unlike the other foreskin brother, the absolute dirt of this man might make you think we're in for a slower fight. But you are wrong. That would make the game easier. He is even faster than that. And that just makes me go from depressed to impressed. And just like last time, his second phase is absolute body horror. Genuinely just the scariest shit I've ever seen in my life. Please consult your doctor before engaging in any Nico Kato maxing. I think that, uh... I, I don't even know what that is. For a few more minutes. Finally, the bloated design. Body positivity. <laughs> no, I have body negativity. Also, holy shit, this music goes hard. This is an absolutely inappropriate boss theme for the inside of a Walmart. I think it's about time that we shave off some of that excess skin. Come on, do it. Give me your skin. If you aren't comfortable in your own flesh, you should pull it off. So now that I've officially- <laughs> I, I think I've realized, like, Maxwell's, like, humor is, like, being punched constantly. Like, each punch is getting worse and worse. Like, <laughs> like each punch is, like, another joke. And you, you don't even have time to react to the first joke. It's actually amazing. Shot Biggie Biggs. We can finally grab the arm. <laughs> and continue on our route towards the average Californian summer. Me being sent to hell, they forgot to take my Bluetooth speaker away. <laughs> That's right, we're finally here. The heart of the beast. Home of deceitful serpents and their evil minions. You know, Washington. Also, um... More ladders, but honestly, what it's a, a bit uh, easy to get lost in here. Personally, though, I don't think there's much here that we haven't already talked about, besides the, uh... The Egged One, just your standard committee of child skinners. So we're just gonna teleport straight to the boss, which is the actual way you do it because of the reasons why. All right, Satan, I've served you for too long. Now prepare to feel my. Oh, wait a second. Welcome everyone to Doom Internalizing My Abuse, and today we're going to be fighting the. Uh, we're going to be, uh, uh, we're going to Google how to kill him. Because as it turns <laughs> out, the reptile exhibit is in need of some heavy ordinance, of which I am an expert. The Serpent Hunter is, and I quote, on some anime shit, a weapon of mass destruction specifically built to kill just snakes. You know, like a secretary bird. It's also, uh, three feet from the entrance. That's like giving chocolate out in a dog pound. God may give me his toughest battles, but so too do we get his largest gun. We just went from Storm Ruler to Storm Meter Stick. This fight is the coolest shit I've ever seen. It is so satisfying to use this weapon and the damage is absolutely biblical my favorite part was when kane beat his brother to death with a rock the only <laughs> drawback is that you are too strong and dodging him is a little easy because the snake will signal every attack by pogging but if i had to choose a boss to be easy
crazy. This one is pretty fucking up there. And trust me, I know about fucking up. But just ask the war crime drives. Second phase is a bit more difficult. I have something to admit, guys. I didn't really kill anyone in the war. I only kill people like you tomorrow. But as for this <laughs> boss, his difficulty does not get in the way of the fun, of which there is plenty. I think the best attack is the one where he slimes me at the Kids' Choice Awards. Plus, I am always down for animal abuse, especially after the animal abuses me. So, with that out of the way, I think it's about time that we graduate this noodle from endangered to extinct. Jesus, aren't you dramatic? It's just gonna get a bit more real. Demigod of Mount Gelmir, number 15, <laughs> Crater Rikard. It appears this is not the real shows, I okay. got off my pet snake, so in return, I will now cut off yours. <laughs> The last thing you want on your journey to hell is to join the Serpent King as family. But as it turns out, that might be what you get. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> it's finally him. It's Satan. I'm your biggest fan. Oh, uh, <clears throat> welcome everyone to the second phase of life, also known as death. And today we're going to be fighting the human centipede along with everyone he's ever consumed. That's right. To this entire time, we were participating in the world's most complicated buffet. And not to mention, I'm carrying the souls of four entire demigods, so I just delivered Rykard his fucking pizza but if you want to get eating first True. you have to get eaten buy an immortal snake and live on him like a tumor that's called making a deal now as for the gameplay it's um a little intense you know kind of spooky kind of makes me cry <laughs> because this boss on top of his normal moveset can use every snake attack just like metal gear solid but that isn't even the dangerous part that happens when he unleashes the 50 goddamn explosive skulls at the loudest possible volume and then dips my screen into a vat of hot oil i guess hell was just built on a missile system i could not tell you what's happening on the screen right now. The best way I can describe this fight is that it gives brain damage, just like playing Valorant, but in a good way, unlike <laughs> playing Valorant. Even still, this battle is not about that. It is all about the spectacle, the weaponry, and of course the violence. It is a gimmick fight done absolutely correct, even if it hurts my eyes a bit. But if this fight gets one thing right, it is definitely style. And while this battle may be long, you know, like a, like a, like a cat, <laughs> goddamn does it deliver. It's a good boss fight. Fuck Max's book, it tastes amazing. Woo! Surf I do. Match made in hell. Hey, so uh I might have killed Satan. You fucking what? <laughs> yeah, so duh. Bye. Where did she go? Gong. Oh. She's eating what? <laughs> Dude, these are fucking amazing. Oh, he's done a bold escape free video. Ooh. Man. I don't know how he does it. It's how is he sane? Is he sane? Is he okay? He's worried about the developers <laughs> from soft, but I'm worried about Maxwell, man. <laughs> oh, that's a good video. God damn.